Guys, Entertain the Geeky here. Presenting the debate episode of... Aliens versus... Predator? I think that's what we're doing. Yep, definitely. And we, we, we have the, the Game Boys. That's what we call them now. The Game Boys is our moderators here. We got right. old, old Jeff and Matt. Hello. Hello. So they are going to be asking us questions. Now, Chris and I tend not to have it as organized as, as the... The Star Trek versus Star Wars, because yeah. we like to throw poop at each other. Yeah, no, we're, we're shit slangers. Like, we're probably going to yell this episode, so yeah, be, I'm down. I'm down. be prepared, right. be ready. you got you got to keep us in check. Sure. Okay, well, uh, without further ado, let's kick off this debate. Um, I, I guess we'll just start with opening statements. I, I will defer to the Predator. Predator, opening mm-hmm. statement. All right, we have the ultimate hunter. If you're putting that against a motherfucker, it really doesn't matter what a motherfucker can do because I'm the ultimate hunter. Not only do I have technology on this shitty alien, I have prowess. I have fucking cunning. I'm smart. Aliens aren't smart. They're hungry. Go ahead, Roger. Fuck your couch. First off, uh, the alien is the perfect organism. As stated by Wayun Technology and the company, they are the perfect killing machine. Nothing, nothing stops the alien in the hive. They adapt. They don't even have fucking eyes, man. They don't have eyes. How weird is that? And they still kill motherfuckers. They still get exploded, too, by predators. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. That's right. You're predators. You're little fucking little, oh, every time I get beat by Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger or Danny Glover, I have to blow myself up. Hold on, time out. I have never fucking seen an alien beat Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's because he wasn't in the movie. Yeah, it's because he would shit on them. They know you don't fuck with Arnold. All right. No. All right. I think we've gotten through our opening statement. But fuck now. you. It's all about the goddamn aliens. <laughs> the perfect organism. Okay, we'll get to the death match between the two, you know, toe to toe. But I think we should start out uh, on a couple other topics and then move into that slowly. Uh, so I think uh, the first thing that I want to start out talking about fuck is you, Chris. not the uh, the alien and the predator themselves. I want to talk about. Sigourney Weaver versus Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is the better protagonist? Oh, Arnold uh, Sigourney, the war hero. Well, Arnold. Yeah. Hold on, let's let's uh, have hold uh, on. let's have aliens open. Sigourney Weaver, because she actually carried the franchise through four movies, as opposed to the one movie that Dutch did. Sure, Dutch was badass and cool, but he was a little bitch in that movie. He was a bitch. He got lucky when he killed the Predator. Sigourney not only faced the alien on the Stromos and survived using her cunning and wit, but went and became an extreme militaristic badass in the second movie, where she learned to fire rockets and flamethrowers and took a fucking queen down in a mech, in a fucking battle loader. Are you done? Yeah, I mean, it's Sigourney Weaver. You and your bullshit? It's Sigourney Weaver. So basically, she had to learn how to use a rocket. Fuck you! Arnold Schwarzenegger came in... Already doing it. And this is what he did. He was so badass, he's like, fuck it. I'm gonna go get some mud and some face paint. I'm gonna pimp myself oh, out. Oh, no one bullshit. can fuck with me. Bullshit. And he goes in and he just shits on everything. Bullshit. Shits on everything. First off. Death to the aliens. Death to the predators. <laughs> Arnold is here. First off. First off, the fucking mud thing. He thought he was dead. Then he's like, oh, wait. He can't fucking see me with the mud. Okay, so now I know something. But here's fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger an hour earlier. Oh, you drop us in the meat grinder. We don't do this work, Dylan. Dylan, we don't do this. Fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger was a little bitch in that movie. Yeah, take my pen chopstick away. Do you have a a rebuttal? Yeah, I do. Shut the fuck up, Roger. (laughs) You sound stupid. All about Ellen Ripley and the real first female hero. Yeah, real first female hero. We're going to ignore fucking Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast came out in like 91. I mean... No, it didn't. That's an old story. Tale as old as time, you dumb shit. She wasn't a hero. She was a fucking princess. Sigourney was the first female hero, but Arnold was the last action hero. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, last one standing because Sigourney was dead. Sigourney's not dead. She Death couldn't even keep her down. She's a pussy. I mean, she has one. All right. All right. So... And she took. We Zool. talked about the protagonists and how they triumphed over the monsters. I think, <laughs> I think we should move towards the supporting cast and how they were complete and utter failures. Uh, which supporting cast was the most competent before it got completely wiped out? Aliens. They're all gone. <laughs> like, no, no, really no because matter. my supporting cast survived. Hitch survived, and and uh, Newt survived. They survived. 
And this all just gives Arnold more merit because his supporting cast is fucking gone. Dead. Bye, all Felicia. Not. Arnold ran that shit. Arnold, Arnold. At the end of it, the fucking Predator was like, I can't be alive anymore. The Predator was dead. He was dying. And he was like, oh, I'm going to take you with me. Yeah, and he could And then, and then what did Arnold do? Bitch. Arnold, Arnold sort of taking He opinion. got in the chopper. No, he got in the fucking fridge like Indiana Jones and outran a nuke. Damn That's right. That's bullshit. Winning. Bullshit. Winning. He was bullshit. so cutting. He was like, I'll jump in the fridge. Everything My turn supporting out fine. cast survived and did more damage than your supporting cast. Yeah, I don't know. Your care. supporting cast did I didn't one need bullet. one because I had one Arnold. One fucking bullet. Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> One fucking Arnold. bullet to the Predator. You My supporting, supporting cast? Yeah. Fucking took out Because Sigourney aliens. Weaver needed it because she's a weak heroine. Really? Here's Arnold. Let's run away. Let's run away. Oh, fuck. He caught us. Let me jump off this Let cliff. me kill him now. No. That wasn't they his plan. Dead. That wasn't his plan. He there was running. no more Predator. He was running away like a little bitch. There is no more Predator. He is dead. Until the second one comes out. Yeah, fuck that. He's not in that movie. Boom. <laughs> You're right. Because he was too busy wo- licking his wounds. No, he wasn't. He was busy banging bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Ask his uh, maid. So really, really, this debate is boiled down to not aliens or predators. It's fucking Arnold versus Sigourney. Well, at, for now, <laughs> uh, maybe we can get from that uh, with, with the next Why don't you control day. this debate? Hey, I kind of like the way it's going. This is uh, exciting. Okay, so uh, how about this? So there's a lot of cool technology that's used in either series you know the predator has his arsenal of tricks and weapons uh and then sigourney weaver has her you know construction mech uh which which series has the cooler technology uh predator predator (laughs) Predator. i mean mean, he's got that fucking disc he throws the the the, the different things yeah i mean it it really like Like, even 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 depending just gonna roll over like well no like how far into because even with like prometheus you can still it's still not as cool as no like the other other thing that that, that, that's really cool that the alien franchise has is the androids the androids were like like, like the synthetics they were cool but other than that the predators technology it's fucking badass it's just badass and it's designed to kill everything there is for getting shit like like like, yeah really aliens what we really have in for technology there is just modified guns I mean, it's still cool, but it's it's just what we have now. Yeah, Predator's got the tech. Yeah, he's got that. He's yeah. like the Tony Stark of that world. Yeah, I, I'm rolling over on that one. Okay. I, I give that one to Predator. Okay, okay. But nice it's little, sheer numbers. Nice little peaceful <laughs> out there. All right. All right, how about this? Oh, Which... that, was that peaceful? Fuck you, Chris! <laughs> okay. All right, all right. How about this? Um, so, they're both film franchises. Uh, which film franchise is the better franchise which which is more watchable or exciting or we were actually just talking about this before the show the first predator movie actually flows extremely well the movie is very well done um, except it's kind predators is kind of a one trick pony no it is it like, is like like aliens we've done horror action thriller thriller back to com like alien 4 was a comedy yeah like i you kind of have the the alien franchise has done more and it's lasted longer yeah. i mean there's really no getting yeah. around that um, and we're going back with Covenant to release. Yeah, I mean, they, they've got a lot more movies, so I kind of got to give. Oh, wow. them, yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you no. got to give that one to him. But man. we'll see what Shane Black does with Predator twenty eighteen. Yeah, well, I mean, because Robert Rodriguez's Predators kind of sucked. It did. I think it was fun. It was a fun little action movie, but still, it was just a one trick pony again. Yeah. Yeah, that goes to Aliens. Okay, we agree. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> um, all right, and now for the final segment, unless we come up with a cool question at the end, uh, which I hope to take twelve minutes. And that is the death match. Who would win? Oh. Aliens versus Predators. We've already seen this. We've seen one Predator cut through a fuck ton of aliens like butter. Until he met the alien queen. Until he met a fucking face hugger. Well, like, no. Like, like, we see this time and time again that the Predators are very good when, the, when, when they have the aliens in check. When they can control the situation, the Predators have this shit handled. It's when the aliens actually are like, oh, wait. <laughs> Let's get out of your little controlled scenario that things go shit. They blew up the fucking Mayans for crying out loud. Yeah, fucking so did Indiana Jones. That doesn't count. <laughs> uh, no, but it's true. Like, like as long as your your ultimate hunter can control the situation. I mean, that's the thing. The ultimate hunter controls the situation. But it's not that, 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 because they've destroyed Earth and they destroyed countless planets trying to hunt these things. Yeah, numerous because times. it's fun. They do it for fun. No, they do it as a rite of passage. Yeah, for fun. There's no reason. They're like, hey, we're doing this. Fucking because we're gonna carve a little T in our forehead, yeah, with their alien fingers because we're not pussies, so we're gonna carve. But they in our are pussies to they're, let they, everybody know that we're righteous. They and are badass. pussies because they're like, oh, we set this up. It's a controlled hunt. That's that, that's the same as that motherfuckers that go to Africa for the hunting safaris that shoot the fucking lions in is the there, in the gates. Is there a controlled hunt 
when you have fucking aliens that yes. just keep multiplying? Yeah, the Predators Bullshit. show that. And then when, when it gets out of control, when the aliens actually get out of the environment was, and, and ru- fuck shit up, the Predators are down to their last bit of let's just blow it up, call it a draw, and go back home. Fuck them. One predator fucking predators. cuts through aliens like Whatever. butter. Like and, then the, butter. And, and then the predator gets face hugged, and there's a Praetorian. Now the Praetorian. No, no that thing would be mean. <laughs> a Praetorian. That's neither here that, nor that, there. That, 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 that thing just kills all. Yeah, I mean, that's really... Yeah, yeah. That's neither here yeah, nor there. Can fucking, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> with the Praetorian, this the, is... The this vagina is, face? G- because it's got the vagina face and the wiener that pops out of its mouth. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. teethy wiener. Does it get to use predator technology? Oh, uh, no, okay, so I, I think it's still a xenomorph. Like, it's still an alien. But it takes characteristics of the predator. So that that that, that extra beefiness that the predator has, it, it would have. The vision, the... the yeah, so, because with a xenomorph... Xenomorphs are very weird. Like they're the same, but they're always different based on the host. Yeah, um, and which is interesting because the only time we've ever seen an alien that wasn't from human was Alien Three, and that was a very dog-like alien because it came from the dog Arnox, depending on which version you see. Yeah, but coming from the Predator, it's still an alien, but it's got Predator characteristics. So the anger and the the, 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 the full-blown the, beast mode. Oh, uh, uh, fucking yeah! We, that's why it's such a badass little fucker. We didn't even get to see it do anything. We saw it impregnate a bunch of women. We just saw it pop out. We saw we saw it kick the predator's ass till the nuclear weapon went off. Like that was a fight in AVP Requiem. That was the fight. You're right. Like in Aliens vs Predator One, it was the queen, which you had to you had to get human help. I don't even know why the humans were. Oh, they were there just to fucking be, be hosts. Yeah, th- th- we don't talk about that movie. That movie doesn't exist. It was bad. It was. It's, it's what happens when you take an R-rated franchise and make it PG, thirteen. I mean, here's what happened with that. They were like, hey, we did Freddy versus Jason. Now let's do fucking Alien versus Predator. And I'll bet if they could have kept going with that, they'd have been like, let's do fucking Michael Myers versus... They were already talking about doing... It was going to be Mike Myers, uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason, and Leatherface. Oh, Leatherface is fucking weak. It was going to be Leatherface. We can save that for another day. Leatherface is fucking weak. Don't don't, don't, don't get off the fact. Just... Man up okay. and realize that the aliens. Yeah, no, the, the aliens are more terrifying. They're, 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 they're they 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 are just better. They're not more terrifying. They are way more terrifying than, than your fucking predator that has to hide with camouflage so you can't see it. Like, yeah, here's the aliens. We use air ducts and things strategically. You're in a fucking tree going, "Want some candy?" He Want fucking places candy? traps strategically. He could be like, "Hey, what traps did he place in the first tra- Predator movie? Not a damn thing. He hung out in a tree and then shot his blaster cannon. That's all he needed. That's to all do. he did. Because there were fucking a and bunch then of- fucking Predator two. Go on. At least in Predator two, he got the baby. spear out. You cry baby. I'm not a fucking cry baby. No, you're a cry baby. Because listen, basically, here's what we watched happen in Alien versus Predator. The fuck. That's what we have. The Predator went and shit. He shit everywhere. <laughs> he fucking bent over, opened up his butthole, and just shit he on aliens. He fucking still died. Yeah, he had to. He didn't have to die. He had to let that girl be the hero. <laughs> they can't, you, you don't fucking end, like, they're not like, hey, at the end of this movie, everybody wins. No, the fucking humans win. That's how these movies are written. Do you know you why? Know, you know, because comics, fucking humans write them. In the comics, when humans write them, they don't always win. Yeah, well, the comics, the comic. The comics is pretty much fucking even between predators, aliens, and humans. Shit just goes down. Yeah. And aliens are just better. They're more <laughs> adaptable. They're not better. They're better. No, they are better. The predators and the and the humans team up and fucking wipe them out. No, fuck those aliens. Yeah, because they, they they sit there and they they hit the little thing and blow up the whole fucking planet. That's all they need to do. Yeah, the same thing. Extinction. Ripley did. Bitch. It's the same thing Ripley did in Aliens. Extinction. Blast off, nuke them from the plant, nuke nuke the planet. The only way to be sure. The only way to Easy. the only way to be sure that you kill aliens Easy. is to wipe the fucking planet that they're on. You Easy. get a big fucking stick and you kill a predator. That's what Dutch did. Hey, you know what? You also, as a predator, you fucking take a spear and you kill all the aliens. Oh, well, let's talk about Danny Glover, how he killed a fucking predator. Go ahead. Yeah, he's like, oh, I cut off your hand when he tried to kill himself, too. Predators are just big babies. The first time they get shot, they're trying to fucking blow themselves up. Well, they're kind of Streisands. I'll give you that. They're, they're, they're melodramatic. But at that point, it's kind of like a samurai. They're like, oh, I fucking, you cut off my finger. I'm going to fucking kill everybody in a three-mile radius. Well, no, You're because welcome. here's the thing in Batman versus Predator. 
when, when after Batman beat the fuck out of the Predator with the baseball bat. Okay. Batman. Yeah. We're no. bringing the child molester into this now, really? <laughs> yeah. So the Predators come down, and like the, the one Predator that was hunting Gotham was still alive. They came down, handed the, that, that young Predator a sword. He gutted himself, and then they handed the sword to Batman. You guys are fucking pussies. You're no, babies. He was fucking shameful, and he knew it. Yeah, he got beat by a fucking Batman. Yeah. He got beat by a pedo. And you want to stand up and say that Predators are badass? They got beat by a pedo. All right, yeah, all right, all pedo right. Pedo fucking beat Superman. All right, everybody. Well, yeah. He basically Superman. beat God. I, I'd like to pose a little change to this topic. Um, so, a Predator versus an alien. But the Predator has Arnold Schwarzenegger on his team, and the alien has Sigourney Weaver. Does this change? A single predator anything? versus a single alien? Because we already know the predator wins. Yeah, it's fight. the hive mentality that makes the aliens work. The, the aliens don't work. Uh, and furthermore, Sigourney multiples. Weaver, Sigourney Weaver, and Arnold Schwarzenegger would just team up and kill both our guys. <laughs> that's I mean, that's what would happen. Arnold would be like, "I need to go put on face paint because that's what he does." That's <laughs> not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't, 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 listen, didn't, listen. He didn't the fucking use his face intelligence. Paint, the face paint makes the man, and he knew that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Put on your wall paint." And then he put on his war paint, and then he went and fucking scrap, scrap metal the tanks and made a career out of robbing banks. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, Sigourney Weaver never had corny lines like stick out around. She, yeah, no, she didn't. She didn't have need corny lines. Lines. She, she had a didn't fucking. Need she had a corny couple of movies. Yeah. yeah. So did your franchise. What's your point? Arnold wasn't in them. <laughs> he wasn't a part of that shit. He was in the good one. He was like, no, this sounds stupid now. No, he was supposed to be a part of the two. You know why he wasn't? Because it was sounded stupid. No, <laughs> no. He was working on Commando or some shit at the time. And they were like, oh, okay, well, we'll just get down. Oh, Glover. you're in another stupid movie. Yeah. We won't put you but in you know, you know, movie. You know what, though? There is one actor who's been in three of those franchises, like, like, like three of the franchises, Terminator, Aliens, and Predator. Do you know which actor that is? Which one? Bill Paxton. Cool. He's been in all three. Because he was in Predator 2. He was the guy that got killed on the train. Mm -hmm. He was the game over man from Aliens. Yeah. And he's a little fucker with the knife in Terminator. You know who he is fucking against Arnold? Who? Nobody. Nobody? He's a bitch. Arnold's a bitch. <laughs> Arnold's a man. You know what? Just ask our president how much of a bitch Arnold is. He can't get the ratings on Celebrity Apprentice. That's me dropping the mic. That's what that sound was. You just was. dropped your phone because here's the thing. He's the governator. I couldn't drop the mic. He's yeah, the governator. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the mic's too nice. He's in California. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so here closing statement time. Because I don't. Re to be this honest with you, obscene. to be honest with you, Chris and I really never debated anything because we know deep down truly who's the superior being, and that's aliens. That's the xenomorphs. They they are just truly the significant being. Yeah, we did all have Chris, a debate. And all Chris argued about crushed. was Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I didn't. You brought up the fucking protagonist here, but that's fine. <laughs> because Arnold's a badass. But now that we're past that, and we've gotten... You, you've already fucking admitted that one-on-one, -on -one, a predator's gonna fucking slice and dice these bitchy aliens. You know... Period. I, you know, I never period. said... I, and you know what? You fucking... You throw him on a ship with Sigourney Weaver. Guess what the Predator's gonna do? Fuck everything on the ship up. He'd be like, Sigourney Weaver, you're dead. He'd be like, these fucking xenomorphs are Sigourney dead. Sigourney Weaver can handle it. And then he'd be like, She's fuck this. It. I'm gonna fly this ship into the sun, jump off of it, and blow myself up in space. Do you know why? Because fuck you, Roger. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's how it would go. Now, now on hold that on. note. No, because fuck off. Because <laughs> on the video games, in the video games... Playing an ADP, the video games, playing an alien was a badass move. And you could take down two or three predators before you got taken out. I never played the game. You should. It's a good game, you little fucktard. Yeah, well, you can fucktard it all you want. I just did. I just called you a fucktard. I have the ultimate warrior. You do not have the ultimate warrior. I do. Wait, wait. I've got, I've got one more question. It's a real meta question. I want you guys to only use 30 seconds so we can wrap this up to answer this. But would you rather see Predator in a Star Wars movie or Alien... <laughs> In a Star Trek movie. Oh, fucking oh, Predator fuck. in Star Wars. Yeah, Predator, Predator Star Wars. in Star Wars. I, we down. almost got that with the one Jedi. With the dreadlocks. Right. Yeah. No, fucking Predator in Star Wars. Could you imagine how bad he would fuck up their universe? No, we almost did get, like, aliens in Star Trek. I mean, we had, like, Species 8487, eight, or the fuck it was in Voyager. We had a very close, closely xenomorphic species. My, my, my issue with putting it in Star Trek 
is just that it's a slower it's a slower thing normally. Do you know how much an alien would fuck up the Enterprise, though? No, I mean, dude, if the aliens got on the Enterprise, they'd be like, oh, no, what do we do? We need to beam down to the planet, tell Captain Kirk, get Spock, everybody no, get no, off no, the no, ship. No, 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 the original Enterprise, the, the, the TOS, they would have it. It's the next generation where they'd be fucked. Because TOS, Kirk would go, can I fuck it? No, all right, shoot it. And, and Enterprise and, and TNG, they'd be like, let's talk to it. Let's try to be peaceful negotiators. Let's use our words. Yeah. And like the Predator would show up and start to be like, okay, yeah, let's talk. I just want to fight the Klingon one-on-one. Let's go. <laughs> and then that would be a cool fight. Batleth versus the Spear thing. Yeah, I mean, the Predator would win. No, oh, I don't know about that. My money's on the Predator. I don't know about <laughs> that. Because here's the thing. The Predators <laughs> fucking fight dirty. <laughs> so the Klingons, when it comes down to it. The Klingons are pussies. They've got their... Oh, you fucking... shut your fucking face! Hey, you know who else would be a Klingon? A Jedi. You, you shut bitch. your fucking a face. A Jedi would fuck one up too. Which segues into my next part of this question. The, the Predators in Star Wars are far more interesting and would make for a better movie. Mic drop. Fuck you, Roger. On that note, guys, go over to BeastEscapeRoom.com and enter the promo code Geeky. <laughs> they can't shoot guard like that! For 20% off of your next escape room experience. Alright, uh, Jeff, do you have any more questions for me and Roger? I, I do not. I would just encourage all of our listeners to uh, debate this on our Facebook page. Uh, let us know who you think won. Uh, let us know if any points weren't brought up that you felt needed mentioning. <laughs> Roger, and I, I think there's some epic wisdom that you should bestow upon our listeners. Gentlemen, ladies, make sure when you pour your Jack and Cokes, you start out with one part Jack, three part Coke, and two ice cubes. As the night goes on, increase the Jack to Coke ratio. Then go to entertainthegeeky.com. Oh, that's what you want. Yeah, no, that's, that's what, what you want. <laughs> So go to entertainthegeeky.com. You can follow us on all of our social media from there. Um, there's a Facebook feed that updates there and all kinds of silly shit. Andy Yang, the Asian sensation, has been killing that for us. Uh, Matt, Jeff, do you guys have any words of wisdom to part us with? Next time, Batman versus Archie and who would make a better Predator crossover. We, are, <laughs> we already have both crossovers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on, on, on a Maybe serious not. note, though, here, here, here is the, the, the next versus topic, because this one will actually involve, involve us screaming at each other way more. Batman versus Spider-Man. Who's a better superhero and why? Ooh. And it could be Kane Parker. For another you day. You don't fucking want that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Chris has one last thing to say. Stay geeky. See you guys. <laughs>